Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Hagman. Get a pan shot. Step back there, Clint. Clint, working the Galaxy S7 phone. Eamon, or is it Almond? It's Eamon. Eamon. I was right, see? Look how good he looks. How much weight now? I know it's at least a half a century, right? I've lost 61.4 pounds over the span of 15 weeks. That's the official numbers. You see, folks, he would look even better in this Foot Joy shirt that is suitable to tee off. Maybe tomorrow, weather's going to be great this weekend. But it's always great when it comes to sports to get caught up with one of the best. He anchors on the KDK Afternoon News with Mangino and Duffy, which is on right now. And then, of course, every 20 minutes, 93.7 The Fan. Penguins put up five last night, beat the Rangers, now now up three games to one. The series, series will shift back to Consol Energy Center when they drop the puck tomorrow afternoon. The Pens have been on fire. They have. Great goaltending. Matt Murray just been remarkable. He's he's a tremendous story. And uh, you know, it's gone from when will Flurry be back to they really need Flurry to come back. I mean it's amazing how things change so quick. They still need Flurry. This guy's a rookie. I mean he's, he's having a little for, he is. I know, but it's, he's just round the circuit the first time. That's the way it works. We'll see how good he is as this series goes on. But he has been spectacular, but they do need Mark andre Fleury. The thing that I'm really happy about is Mike Sullivan. I mean, this is just a good story, and he's a good hockey guy. And, you know, GM Jim Rutherford, you know, took a bit of a pounding there because of uh, the coach previous. It's just nice to see that it looks as though it's going to be a happy ending. And no matter what happens, he's been a great addition, and he was a great find for GM Jim Rutherford. He's going to be a finalist, I think, for the coach of the year. I mean, and, and rightly so. As um, Barry Trotz, the coach of the Capitals, said the other night, he goes, you know, if Sullivan had been there at the start of the season, they might have challenged us for the best record in the league. So he has respect around the league, what he has done. It, the transformation has just been phenomenal. And I don't know who it is, but somebody actually has Mike Johnston critiquing the playoffs for them. And I'm thinking, you can't do better than that. Hey, look, we can all use a little extra work. I mean, come on now. <laughs> but uh, listen, we're going to turn the page quickly. Garrett Cole finally, Pirates bats finally, and they put up 11. They beat the Padres as their West Coast trip continues. I tell you, I watched a couple of those games, and it was painful, so it was nice to see them get back in the W card. Yeah, they, they made their hits count last night, and Cole does what a stopper is supposed to do. He stopped the mini losing streak, and, and really looks really looks strong last night. He he probably could have pitched nine innings if they had wanted him to, but up 11 one day, or 11 nothing at the time, they didn't have any need to do that. Here's your stat of the day, though. Okay. Pirates have the best on-base percentage in all of Major League Baseball. The Baltimore Orioles are second, 29 percentage points behind them. The Pirates are running away with on-base percentage. If they could just get the clutch hits, they're going to score a ton of runs. And remember, home and away, every game, 93-7, the fan. Have a great day, everybody.